In this video, we're going to look at how to create loops inside of Java. Now, since you have experience in C and C++, you're going to find running loops in Java to be very similar. Just as with C and C++, there are two main types of loops. A conditional loop, known as a while loop, and a counting loop, known as a for loop. So let's take a look first at our conditional loop. I have an X and a Y value. And I'm simply going to specify while, and then I'm going to specify my condition inside of parentheses. While x is less than y. The body of the while loop, what's going to execute while the condition is true, is going to be inside of braces. So in this case, I'm going to simply say system out print line and I'm going to print x. Then I need to make sure I modify x so at some point x is going to become greater than y. And simply specify x plus equals x. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the value of x and add to it after we've printed it out. If we run this real quick, down our console, we'll see that we start off with 5, the initial value. We add 5 to 5, that gives us 10. 10 plus 10 gives us 20. 20 plus 20 gives us 40. At that point, when we add it again, it will now be 80. Then we'll no longer have a value that meets our condition, and we exit out of our while loop. So this is a very simple example just to show you how we're managing our condition. Now, there is another type of while loop. It's called the do while loop. In this case, we do our test after we run our body. We'll specify do, and then we have our body for our do. And then I'm going to go ahead and write our while loop down here. And we're going to specify still x is less than y. Before I write the body of my while loop, I'm going to reset x back to 5. And then inside my do loop, I'm going to paste my content that I had inside my while loop. And this will let us see kind of a little bit of difference between these two. Make sure I have a semicolon at the end of my while loop. Then I'm going to click run. And you'll see I have the loop from my original while loop. And then I come here and I have my do while loop. The output winds up being the same, but there is one minor difference. The difference is that my do while is considered a post test. So it runs the while body and then does the test. When x is 40, 40 plus 40 then becomes 80, and it does the test and it fails. The do while loop is ensured to run one time. The while loop may run zero times. So otherwise, they perform pretty similarly. It's just a matter of when do they do the test. And in this case, we wind up getting the exact same output for them. Most of the time, we will want to use a while loop, not a do while. Now, let's look at our simple counting loop. A counting loop is going to be the for loop. Our for loop is very similar to our C++ loop. We write for, and then we have parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have three separate sections. We have an initialization section. We're going to specify int i equals 0. Then we're going to have a testing part of our loop. So we'll say something like i less than 10. And then we'll have our post condition part of our loop, often used to modify a value, i plus plus. Inside the braces is going to be what happens during our loop. So we'll say system out print line. In this case, we're going to print i, since that's our looping variable. And if we go and run, we have the body of our for loops that execute first, and then we have our for loop. And notice down here in our output terminal, we have 0 all the way through 9. That's because i starts at 0, 
and then it does it while it's less than 10. And so we get to nine. When i is nine, we then increment to be one. So i is 10. 10 is no longer less than 10 when we do our condition check and our for loop exits. So Java is very similar in how it does loops as where you find with C and C++.